Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and welcome to this video lessons. In the previous lesson, we saw how to create an Oracle user. So, in this video, we will talk a little bit more about that. Okay. So, this is the command we use to create a test user called test. Create user test identified by IT shots. Okay. So, now a user creation command could be as simple as that or it could be a little bit complicated in the sense we can specify other parameters for this user right now I showed a simple way of creating the username the reason being the rest of the parameters I left it for Oracle to fill in the default values okay so now let's look at those values okay so when you create a user in Oracle you need the username you need the password again there are other methods where you don't need the password I'll come to that later okay so basically you need the username password let's just assume okay and you also need which one is going to be this users default table space okay meaning that whenever this user connects it needs to connect to a default table space okay so let's go here right so I went to the users I searched for test I clicked go and I got this username and then I am clicking edit okay so now here you know the username is test okay profile I'll talk about the profile later so authentication method password right so this is where you know when I said uh, you know there are ways that you don't need password right uh, when you create an user with an authentic authentication method as external then you don't need the password and there are uh, certain scenarios uh, where uh, you would do that I'll come to that later okay uh, so now so the password is in there here if you see the default table space user by default it goes to this users table space because this table space has been configured as the default table space across the Oracle uh, uh, within the Oracle database meaning that if any user gets created uh, without any uh, default table space assigned then this table space would be that users default table space okay if we want we can change okay we can change it to some other table space okay and temporary table space again any user uh, need to have a temporary table space also temporary table space is kind of like your uh, uh, temporary folder in um, uh, uh, Windows like now temporary internet folder for your Internet Explorer basically like now when you do some processing and if it uh, pro works if it processes a lot of data then it might need a temporary area to uh, throw in the data for the processing and then it might need to retrieve those things back okay so but the important point to remember is there is a need for default table space and there is a need for temporary table space okay and then the status locked or unlocked by default when you create a user it's configured as unlocked so then what is locked means you know if I choose this and click apply this user gets locked meaning that nobody could log in using this user account okay this would be temp this would be useful uh, in uh, situations where you know uh, you had to create some temporary accounts for uh, uh, consultants or temporary employees who would come and work in your organization and go so you can just you know create an user account for them with the privileges and everything and after that once they leave you can just lock and then once they come back after in you know, a couple of days or a couple of weeks then you can just unlock it 
right that's one thing or um, even most of the companies you know when the employees leave they don't immediately go and drop their accounts i'll explain what is and drop and dropping an account which is basically completely getting rid of their user account instead they would lock it for a week or so okay and then they will drop uh, uh, the locked accounts together on a weekend batch mode or something depending upon the need of the company corporation okay so in this page these are the things like now you need a default table space and you need a, you need a temporary table space and you can change these values okay thank you for watching